All right, so something else we'll want to be able to do is to take a look at very high multiples of a point on an elliptic curve. And what we can do is we can do the same thing we did when looking at high powers of a number, which is use the fast powering algorithm. And that's essentially the same in both cases. So here I have an elliptic curve, mod 17, and I want to find 9 times 1, 6. In other words, I want to find the sum of 1, 6, 9 times. And I can use my fast powering algorithm in essentially the same way. First, I'll note that 1, 1, 6 is just going to be the number itself. And now I can find 2, 1, 6. So here I have a point repeated, so I use the derivative to find the slope, substitute that in, slope is congruent to 1, and my elliptic curve point addition formula tells me that that 2, 1, 6 is going to be the point 16, 13. And, well, I can continue the fast powering algorithm again if I want to find 4, 1, 6. It's the same as twice this, and so that's going to be twice 16, 13. Again, it's the same point repeated, so I use the derivative to find the slope. I apply the elliptic curve addition formula, and I find where that point is located. And again, I want to find twice that again, so I'm going to find 2 times 0, 14. I'm going to add that point to itself. And again, find the slope, find the coordinates x3 and y3, and there's my point. Now, I want to find 9 times 1, 6, which means I want to add this point to this point. And now I have two points on an elliptic curve, and I can apply the straightforward addition formula. Now, since the points are distinct, then I find the slope in the ordinary fashion. 2, and find my x3, and that gives me my y3 value, 9, 1, 6, is going to correspond to the point 5, 3, 